Hello, this is Techman88, and welcome to an episode of What the Hell Mojang. Um, so I found out that these pillagers, as people have found out themselves, they can make a lot of lag, but I found a situation where one single guy here is lagging the game up to 50 MSBT, and it's not just as bad as that. That would be sort of okay, um, at least playable. Like, look at this counter right here. It just freezes for a moment and uh, just is terrible then runs at hyperspeed. And you can see when I kill this guy, my MSPT got displayed up there with money HUD. Um, I've got no mob spawning on. I've tried to slow, uh, turn everything off. But yeah, if I summon a guy like this with a patrol target that's far away, which these guys can actually spawn randomly in the world, they're very, very rare, but they do happen. And if you get one of these guys and he gets in a situation like this where he's up against a wall, yeah, your game is going to be very, very laggy. I can summon him, like, up here. The same uh, command. And it shouldn't be as laggy. Still kind of laggy. I was just running this test to see, like, how far they could pathfind away. So his target is, like, many, many, many blocks out that way. And he's actually very bad at it. Uh, yeah, he does stuff like that. So there's also this bug where they will try and shoot me while I'm in spectator mode. So that's kind of interesting. <laughs> Doesn't seem to happen with all of them. I'm also using carpet, but I don't think that uh, that's affecting anything negatively here. And yeah, I restarted the server and uh, it wasn't bad at first, but now that I've been doing some stuff and got the memory up, usage up to like one gigabyte on Linux, uh, now it's starting to go really, get really, really bad like this. I'll try killing the pillagers. See if that might fix something. Yeah, so that's back down to normal. And I got a command here just to summon uh, these guys here. Uh, these guys are actually just copies of some that spawned in. I slightly edited it so that their target is like over this way like I had the other ones, but these could reasonably spawn in the real world. And also, they're not going to despawn if you're like sitting right here above 32 blocks away. Um, you have to get 128 blocks away. So if you're sitting at a farm for like a long time and these guys spawn in, then you're going to get a bunch of lag on your server. And yeah, you won't know where the lag was coming from and unless like that person logs off and then suddenly it's working fine again. So after a whole lot more testing I did today, uh, I determined the likely cause of this. And this only seems to happen, as I said before, with the random raids that just uh, spawn in the world. So I got like a command block here set up and I've got, uh, this just summons like a guy uh, that I copied from a raid. Uh, with all the correct data values like he spawned normally. Um, and yeah, when he gets into this situation, I think the problem is that he he hits a wall right here. He thinks that he might be able to get around. So I think like every game tick, he's trying to pathfind around here. Or maybe it's every like, uh, every so, so often it retries to pathfind. I've got this observer thing right here to try and visualize when the server freezes or if the server freezes. And I guess, like, occasionally it does freeze. And, yeah, the pathfinding, it's going to start here and just try and do, like, a flood fill and find the way there. And, yeah, it checks a whole lot of blocks, whether it's a possible path, and all of them fail. And it's just doing that over and over. Um, so different situations, you may get something like this. Like, I can try and find another one. It tends to be, like, in these mountain gaps. Like, I believe this one will work. Let's see. Yeah, this guy is uh, definitely uh, causing some lag. So I'll kill that guy and just see how much that one villager is causing. So yeah, seven milliseconds just from that one single guy. And I'll show you if I kill that guy, my MSPT will go down to very little. 
All right, I think I found a solution to this. I tried a whole lot of command blocks right here. Um, the object is to remove this uh, patrol target. That's what I wanted to do, but I couldn't manage to actually delete that array in the NBT data. Uh, so I found another solution that seems to work and doesn't change the game behavior too much. I uh, just set the patrolling tag to zero. So you look at my MSPT, it's 27 milliseconds. Then I hit that and it just drops down to like a normal level because they're no longer just trying to seek that way forever. And yeah, that that should be a fix. And I'll have a, uh, I'll paste that in the description, the command, which you could put like a, on a repeating command block in your world. So I might also make this into a data pack and also the rest of the stuff on like uh, these data merge commands and stuff like that. Um, I'll put th that sort of dis discussion in the description because I can't really explain it too well. But yeah, the uh, the fix that I have here just execute as all raiders. That's a new thing in 1.14, that uh, hashtag thing. Then uh, just data merge entity and then patrol, just set patrolling to zero. And yeah, that seemed to work just fine. And just one final little rant about Mojang. It's uh, why did they move on to 1.15 when an issue like this still exists? Like, why can't they add a patch to 1.14, like 1.14.5, and fix these issues? Because I don't really want to wait till 1.15 to be able to play, uh, just be able to play with these pillagers. And I don't want to be, like, modifying my world just to, uh, to account for them. So, yeah, I don't see why Mojang doesn't do, like, a normal software development cycle where you're working on the new version, 1.15, and you're still fixing bugs in the old version. I think a lot of us would appreciate this and not have to rely on like third parties like Carpet who, uh, who don't even get paid for this. They just do it for free because they want the game to be fixed. So yeah, that's, that's my rant. And I think there's a lot of people that share this type of opinion that Mojang could do a lot better with just like basic software development life cycles, which is annoying to do if you've worked on this sort of thing before, but it, it's a lot better for users. This can be very game breaking and probably a lot of people won't even know why. Um, yeah, I, I discovered it by using a guardian farm for a while, which had a low light level and these raids, these random raids, which are extremely rare, they can spawn there. And then they do this sort of thing where they're trying to get somewhere and keep pathfinding over and over. And yeah. Anyway, that's enough of this rant. I just hope they fix it or maybe carpet fixes it. Just basically disable the random raids I think would be enough to, to fix this because those are the guys with the, uh, the patrol target, like I'm setting here. Uh, but yeah, patrol target dot X, Y, and Z. Which by the way, why didn't they use an array for that? But that's another matter. So anyway, I will try and make this into data pack as well as if I can get some help on that. And uh, thank you for watching and goodbye.